AMD fixes their GPUs, at least a little bit. Meta overclocks the Quest 2, and hey, AMD rising prices keep on going down. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And today's top story is about a driver update that AMD has released right before the holiday season for you to start enjoying, especially with that winter storm that's rolling through. I hope everybody who at least lives in the United States staying safe. I'm at least mildly worried about it because if we lose power at all, that's gonna create a serious problem for me and my son's medical needs. But regardless of that, the driver update that's coming to the RX 7900 series is a specific driver update for those very cards and addresses one of the main complaints that a lot of people had with regards to the RX 7900 XT and XTX, namely that it had super high power draw while either not doing anything or like doing video playback, which doesn't require a lot of power juice. So this driver update exclusively for the latest cards fixes a few issues, but ignores one of the other ones that still is a problem. So number one, fixes issues that may be encountered when using virtual super resolution with multiple displays. Number two, a system crash that was observed when changing display modes with four display configurations, probably not affecting a whole lot of people. Number three, while loading Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, an app crash or driver timeout may occur after enable ray tracing settings, so that got fixed. And then fourthly, the most important, improvements to power usage during hardware accelerated video playback. Further power efficiency improvements are planned for future releases. So AMD continuously ignores acknowledging, yes, there are some power draw issues with the 7900 XT and XTX, which is kind of poetic because they kind of made a lot of digs at NVIDIA for their power draw on the 4090, when if you put the XTX and the 4080 head to head, the 4080 draws less power in a lot of scenarios, even if they're relatively close in performance. And it's just, you're, you're not doing yourselves any favor by picking fights that you lose at AMD. But the biggest thing that they did not address, and you can see is still in the known issues, is high idle power draw while not doing anything while using high resolution and high refresh rate displays. So if you're on 1440p, 144 hertz, you're on 4K, you might be seeing higher power draw and AMD knows that that's happening and they'll fix it at some point, which kind of is, I think a lot of people's gripes that I've heard out there with AMD is drivers. Nobody trusts their drivers. And when you're a week and a half past launch and you're fixing one part, but still saying that you haven't had the fix for another part that people tend to take seriously, it just, it undermines the public confidence a little bit. Even if AMD will get this resolved eventually, it doesn't help the fanboy discussion of AMD has bad drivers. And it just, ah, uh, I re like, ah, uh, they had, just fix it. I know it's not as easy as that. This takes a lot of software engineering, but Nvidia seems to have drivers on lockdown where AMD and Intel are both still struggling with that. So we'll have to wait and see how long it takes for them to fix the idle power draw, but at least they're making improvements. And if you have a 7900 XT or XTX, you could potentially pick up Miles Morales, which will no longer crash, at today's video sponsor, Green Man Gaming, because they have their holiday sale going on right now until January 5th. So you got a little bit of time to enjoy these holiday sales but they have fantastic pricing on a ton of games. Namely, if you want the game of the year, Elden Ring, that's 38% off right now for the PC edition, down to $37.37. You can check all of this out at the link in our video description. But if you want something like the PC edition of God of War, that's 49% off to be $25.49. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Collections, down 57% to be at $30.10. Spider-Man Miles Morales, 38% off to be at $31. Somebody in our Discord was just saying, man, Man, I can't wait until Spider-Man goes under $45 and then I'll buy it. And then I pointed him to, hey, Green Man Gaming is 38% off. You can pick up Spider-Man Remastered for $37.19 on Green Man Gaming's holiday sale. Again, you have until January 5th to pick up these great games at fantastic pricing. So if you're waiting until Christmas to get a little bit of extra cash, you can hold off into that. But come back to this video, click the links in the video description to pick it up. But even better than that, you want to win a free Steam Deck. Well, any XP member at Green Man Gaming can link their Steam accounts, then they're automatically be entered into their competition to win a Steam Deck. Terms and conditions apply, but cheap games potentially could win a Steam Deck. Green Man Gaming's holiday sale going on right now. Go check it out at the link in the video description. Big thanks to Green Man Gaming for sponsoring today's video. And what you could potentially play these video games on is a Noctua graphics card. We've seen these before. The 30 series had a couple of them. Big tan and brown behemoths that were like quad slots for like a 3070. They were ridiculous. Well, it's being indicated that Asus and Noctua will be showing off a 40 series version at CES. There's no indication on what model it's gonna be for or what the card's going to look like. Video cards is trying to get them to use their Chromax Black Edition so that you don't have this beige tan thing going on. But regardless, I just, I'm gonna be back. The, the 3070 was already four slots 
on the Noctua card, if you put this on a 4090, like it's just, you're gonna need a friggin' full tower in order to get enough slots to fit those Noctua fans. It's gonna be wild. Or maybe Noctua will pull it off in four slots and it'll just be the same size as it was the previous generation, hopefully with better colorways. But let me know, would you be interested in a 40 series Noctua card? I wanna hear from you down below in those comments while I let you know about today's crypto stunts things that are going on. Bitcoin having a roller coaster of a day. It's currently up just a little bit, but after tumbling quite a bit earlier in the day, it's at 16,784 right now. Ethereum following a similar trend to be up 0.6% and Dogecoin not following the same trend at all. In fact, following the inverse because everything's upside down, Dogecoin is up 4.62%. And Reese is upside down because he's in South Africa. And if Australians are upside down, South Africans would have to be upside down. And if he heard me saying this, he would be mightily upset with me because he never likes to be compared with an Australian. But you're you're on the same side of the earth, my friend. It's a go. Hey, Juan and Joe. Welcome back to UFT Deals and bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. I cannot speak Afrikaans with a straight face to save my life. What I can do is bring you a couple of deals today, like this Logitech G213 Prodigy, which is their budget-wide gaming keyboard going for only $25.98 which is 63% or $44.01 off. But speaking of budget, we have the Behringer Bigfoot all-in-one USB condenser microphone. As you can tell from the name, it's a Blue Yeti ripoff, but at $27.96, you really can't complain. 74% off at the moment. And then lastly, we have the NZXT H7, which is their ATX mid-tower gaming PC case. You can pick up any of the three color variations for only $69.99. Nice which is 46% off. And with that, I'm gonna go be vacationaries for a couple of days, but don't worry, you'll still get the deals every single day, you know where to check. And with that, back to the rest of your hot news, cheers. Thank you, Reese. very cool. But don't forget, Green Man Gaming does have their holiday deals going on right now. That is part of UFD deals, it's great, it's awesome. I love seeing Green Man Gaming's holiday sales and I don't like seeing robocalls on my phone. In fact, I don't like seeing many phone calls on my phone. Tyler? Yeah. What age threshold do you think it is where people will like phone calls and don't like phone calls? 40. 40? You think anybody 40 and older will gladly accept a phone call? I think if you are 40 or older in 2022, you will accept a phone call without hesitation. Okay, anybody under than that, you got skepticism. Nope, yep, yep. Well, good news. The FCC is levying its largest fine ever against a robocall company at $300 million against the largest robocall firm that placed 5 billion calls in three months, <laughs> indicating that that's enough to call every person in the United States 15 times. This operation, big deal. The FCC has been working on robocalls for a while. According to known robocall trackers, it's dropped the volume of robocalls 99% over the last year, but there's like, it's just bad, okay? They're trying to call you about your car's extended warranty and they need you to answer, but the FCC is answering with give us the money because you should stop. And you might want to give Facebook your money. I don't know. Most people aren't buying MetaQuest 2 at this point. They probably have already purchased them over the last few years, but there's a software update out there right now that makes it a little bit faster. They're adding a 7% overclock to the graphics card to make for better rendering. That 7% is only a 35 megahertz boost, so it's going from 490 up to 525, but MetaQuest 2 should run just a scoochie doochie faster. And what's gonna be a scoochie doochie cheaper is AMD 7000 series chips. We talked about in a previous episode of Hot News this week that the 7600X went down to its lowest price of $238 over on Amazon after a $10 coupon. The 7950X is now getting treated to very similar treatment where the price is continuing to decline and is currently sitting at $569 over on Newegg and Amazon. We have affiliate links in the video description in case you wanna check them out, but that's the lowest price in 30 days over on Newegg. It's been cheaper in certain places, but this is the first time we're seeing it being that cheap on multiple platforms. It's really creating a, a, a conversation. What is AMD doing? What is gonna happen when they launch their non-X series chips? Is there anything gonna be done about motherboard pricing? They clearly want you to buy their stuff. They're dropping the price only months after launch. I just, what is 2023 gonna hold? Are you gonna hold a Ryzen 7000 series chip in your PC? I don't know. I also don't know if I'm gonna continue this episode of Hot News, cause I'm not. It's the end of the weekend. Oh, I, I guess I should probably talk about this. Kyle, you wanna come here? Kyler's taking off for the holidays. Catlin's already taken off. Reese is on holiday, but he's gonna keep editing thumbnails. But we'll have one more week of hot news, but we're, we're like super close to hitting 500,000 subscribers. So thank you. Woo! Yeah! Thank you all so much for the love and support. We'll keep bringing you the hottest tech news out on the internet while you, uh, while you keep receiving it. Can I go home now? You live here. <laughs>
Bye.